Welcome back everyone, it's Charlotte from At Charlotte's House. I am in my master bath, slowly but surely, I am fixing this space up. And today, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about our subfloor. I removed the existing floor, which was a vinyl composite tile. That was sitting on a quarter inch of plywood. That quarter inch of plywood is sitting on two layers of subfloor. And as I expected, there's a little bit of water damage around the bathtub. I've already removed the middle layer of subfloor and that was quite soft and rotted. And unfortunately, this first layer of subfloor also appears to have received quite a bit of water. So today, I'm gonna show you how easy it is to cut out the part of the subfloor that's damaged, replace it, and then I am back in business for tiling. Whenever you're repairing a subfloor, you want to look for the nail lines. And I can see on this that the nail line runs here and it runs here. And that's how I know where the floor joists are. And I want to avoid those floor joists. So I'm going to get a circular saw and I'm going to set it to the depth of my subfloor. I've already measured, this is a 5 eighths of an inch plywood. So I'm going to set my saw to about an inch and I'm going to cut out the part of this floor that is damaged. I removed the first bit of rot off camera, partly so that I wouldn't make a mistake on film, but I also wanted you to get a better sense of what I'm talking about. So here you can see underneath the floorboards, and if you remember, the rot was right by the bathtub. What I'm doing is I'm removing the damaged plywood, and I'm trying to get as close to the joist as I can, so here, what I'll do is I'll be able to put a two by four against this joist, and then I can rest the plywood on top. This one, I can just go right into. And then the problem that I've hit, which is not a problem, it's just an extra step, is that the other joist is underneath the bathtub. The bathtub obviously isn't resting on the subfloor, it's resting on the joist. I'm gonna have to create some cross beams between this joist and the joist that's underneath the bathtub, and then I'll have something to drill my plywood on top of. I'm gonna remove this part of rotted plywood. Now that I know where the joist is, I can just cut right along that joist line, and then I'm gonna try to get as close to the bathtub as I can to remove, like I said, all of that rotted subfloor. It's important when you're dealing with this subfloor that you're working with a circular saw where you can control the depth of the blade. I don't know what's under here. I know from peeking my head down that there's a water line somewhere over here. A lot of times you're gonna find electric, so you can't go after a subfloor with something like a jigsaw because it'll go too deep and you don't wanna hit anything. So I'm gonna set my circular saw blade to about an inch, which will be just a little bit more than my 5 eighths of an inch plywood. That way I know I'm cutting through the plywood cleanly and there's no risk of hitting anything that's underneath it. So I wasn't able to get a saw into this little piece here, but it's so rotted that honestly, I think the plywood's just gonna break. My next step is gonna be to measure the distance between this floor joist and the floor joist that's underneath the bathtub. And then I'm gonna try to retrofit some cross beams so that I have something to drill my plywood down onto. It's a little messy, so it's sort of hard to see what I'm doing, but I've measured and cut another joist. I've added pocket holes, and I've already screwed in the screws just a little bit, so now I'm gonna hammer it in place and test to make sure it's level before I screw it into the joists. Now that my new cross beams are in place, I'm ready to sister my two by four into the joist over here. I've gone ahead and tacked a couple nails in underneath the two by four to hold it in place. And then I'm gonna screw it right into the joist and that will support the plywood that I'll nail in place to be my new subfloor. I'm using my circular saw to cut a piece of plywood. This is 5 eighths of an inch thick and I'm gonna go ahead and put this on top of the beams and the two by fours and then nail it in place and I'm done. 
As you can see, I had another piece of subfloor that I needed to replace here. This is where the bidet used to be. I did it exactly the same way as that rotted plywood near the bathtub. I was able to cut out the parts of plywood up to the joists and then I sistered in another two by four and I hammered in a new piece of plywood. We're good to go. I am officially sitting on a bathroom with patched and repaired subfloor. I am ready to start tiling. Tune in for my next video. I will show you how I'm going to put down some mortar and some concrete backer board, lay my tile. It's going to be so good. <laughs>